Hey guys, it's Mike here. I just wanted to do a video. I had found this here in the back of my shop. Um, it's actually, it's been here for, oh, coming up a year. Um, and it was kind of hidden by a bunch of grass and, uh, and beautiful goldenrod stuff and weeds and, you know, all that lovely stuff. This is the steam engine. This is uh, a converted four stroke. Um, you can see I have a uh, little extra flywheel weight over here uh, underneath that duct tape and on the other side as well. Uh, the duct tape was simply to cover up the fins to reduce wind drag. And then these particular flywheels, if we can get a picture of that there, have the magnets. Uh, they're off a larger engine. This was originally a three and a half horse, four stroke. Uh, believe this was a Briggs, um, Briggs and Stratton. And what I did was I uh, welded a couple extra lobes on the uh, the camshafts and uh, then filed them down and, and figured out the timing um, so that the valves that were original now open uh, for the exhaust and the intake which if you understand anything about steam uh, which I recommend learning um, it, it makes sense it's, it's not real not real difficult um, you do get more of a full stroke on this and that two-stroke motor I have in another video um, you're really only getting about half a stroke under pressure uh, because it then goes to the exhaust cycle where this engine uh, because I used the original valves um, it's it's got pressure all the way down on the piston to the bottom and then it opens the exhaust to exhaust out so this is a little bit nicer um, as far as playing around trying to make some real power um, and we'll see what happens I this one here I headed out back here set up uh, if you follow this hose, that's the uh, the original intake. I tapped it, and then I ran a hose around here, and that goes down into the ground. There's an actual air tank under there. I had it about half full of water, um, and then I had a chimney in the one section, and then over at the other end here, you can see a couple of blocks, and I basically had a, um, a, a J-tube set up uh, with the tank underneath, and I was messing around running the engine like that um, so here's the thing now I've, I've, I've showed this um, if I pan around here gently there's my uh, mass my, my rocket mass water heater it's actually running right now you can't tell because there's no smoke uh, it's kind of fun it uh, huffed a little bit in the beginning just because it rained all night um, so the basics of a lot of my projects are um, stemming back to the kind of like exploring steam to me in some ways seems like I'm going back in history and I've studied a lot of steam history I've studied a lot of the uh, rocket stove and the more efficient lower fuel burning systems and uh, a, lo a lot of different things um, and I have this idea that I don't, I've never really heard anybody else talk about. Um, I've been told I should pursue it to whatever length I can. Um, and, and basically, it's to set up a power train system um, using some sort of steam powered by uh, some sort of highly, highly efficient stove. Uh, a, a solid or an, a, a fuel burning system that basically what I would be making is an external combustion engine which is the correct overall term for a steam type engine um, and I have some ideas um, and, and one of the people that really pushed me on it is a guy that wants me to try to come up with a way to build this uh, for his airplane of all things so Steam engines and lightweight don't tend to go together, but I have some ideas to uh, to combat that, and I'm really hoping that um, I'm I'm going to do a series of videos explaining it, and I'm hoping that I can get lots of feedback. Thanks.